When you think of obnoxious fees, you probably think of this, the airport. But while fees to check a bag or pick a seat are outrageous, at least they're infrequent. Banking fees are worse for three reasons. They're continuous, you often don't notice them, and they're hard to get around. According to a recent survey by MoneyRates.com, the average bank customer now pays $14.13 a month, or $169 a year, for a checking account. That seems like a lot to access your own money. Mistakes are also pricey. Overdraft fees are now averaging $32.30. And the average fee banks charge their own customers to use an out-of-network ATM is now $4.57. So what's a customer to do? Well, not easy. The answer is simple. Don't use the banks with the highest fees. Who are they? According to money rates, the biggest banks. Here is a new concept in banking. The $3 million structure is filled with unique features. The ones who advertise the most also charge the most. Way less are online banks. They're less likely to charge checking account fees, and those that do charge less. Need in-person banking? Credit unions are also more likely to offer free or discounted checking. And if you think 150 bucks a year is no big deal, think of it this way. $150 compounded at 8% for 30 years is $18,000. That's money that's either going in your pocket or your banker's pocket. Ready to save on fees? I've got a lot more information for you. Go to moneytalksnews.com and just do a search for banking. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.